Hello, buddy. Welcome back to your playing another game of League of Legends. I'm the Strategy Professor. We're doing a little Janna action today. Streaming this. I've had a couple of rough games at the start of the stream, but you know what? We could make a comeback for sure. It just happens from time to time. I don't know, Danny. She might be hanging out with my wife. Danny asks in the chat where my cat is. She comes in here sometimes. She'll be back. she'll be in here later. Um, so we picked Janna here. We have basically everyone on our team scales off of Janna, which is actually kind of bad. I just realized we have all AD, so that's that's not amazing. But they don't have tanks, so none of them are going to be building AD, I don't think. So it's fine. But we have really high scaling, so I like that. If we make it past 25 minutes, we definitely win. Not definitely, but it's a super high probability. So I've kind of reversed my position on Vayne. I used to hate the Vayne like, in my lane, but she's just so powerful and she's so simple to execute. And just there aren't a lot of other good alternatives right now. Like I just don't trust people to play Jin. He's just not powerful enough to overcome poor mechanics. So if people miss all their W's and their ults and just misposition poorly, they just get punished way too hard as Jen. Caitlyn's still really strong. She just can't scale with Vayne. Some people are picking hyper tanks now. That's fine. I just want to trade back as much as I can. Vayne still has a horrible laning phase, but if you can just get out of it, just... I like the reliability of just, if it goes to the late game, you're just going to win. If you can peel off the Vayne, you're probably going to win. Because she can just... I mean, she doesn't even have to do a lot of fancy rolling and stuff a lot of times. You can just right-click. And you're probably still going to win later in the game. Like, I used to hate laning with Vayne because she is, like, to play her at a super high level, it does require a lot of skill. Oh, crap, not that. Okay. They do have ways to get on her. I mean, I think a big part of it is people just aren't playing CC champions right now a lot of times. Um, now they have the Vi on their team, who's very good. Hecarim's okay, or um, Kha'Zix is okay. He's one of those champions that, even though he doesn't have a lot of CC, like he has so much damage later that I'm okay with it. It's really all about damage in this meta. Like, people just need... God. What? Hold on. Oh, it was a 2 on 2. I was like, was that legit a 1v2 with that Yasuo? Oh, gosh. Well, at least it's not my lane this time. I don't have to see it so much. It's a lot less tilting if it's on the other side of the map. I can CC him and peel him off the vein later. Vi's really the only Vi and Lissandra are kind of threats. Like they have some pretty good engage. But we have so many different threats later on, like GP, Kha'Zix, and Vayne all just deal tremendous damage. And if I can just keep even one of those up, we're probably gonna kill them later in the game. Like Thresh. I mean they have a lot of damage too. Lissandra's damage is somewhat muted, I think. Like her sustained damage over time isn't really that high. You also, depending on how he builds. Could be somewhat lower in damage. Oh, if she would have pinned him, that would have been nice. Hmm, missed that.
You don't want to go fight him, Kha'Zix? For real? Wasn't she right there? Oh gosh. Now she's gonna be here soon. Yeah, there she is. Oh, and a teleport, okay. Cool story. Uh, yeah, we, we should have given it up. Okay, well, GP got him with his ult. Alright. Yeah, we should have given up the Thresh. I mean, there's just too many things. Like, I knew that Vi was in the area. We just saw her. And uh, the TP is always a threat. I knew their uh, Yasuo had exhaust instead of TP, but I forgot to look at the Lissandra. Okay, so Yas died to Wukong top lane, so that's good. Because Wukong's a lot more useful in team fights. So we're just gonna go boots, sightstone here. Just gotta let him know. I need to start doing that a lot more. Is like, please don't go up and die in lane. Okay, good. One thing you have to remember: if you're an AD carry, you have a friend that AD carries in solo queue. The vast majority of people, I would say, like. Over 90% will push the lane, naturally, if there's no one in the lane. So, if you just walk back, if you're the um, AD carry and your support's not in your lane, if you just walk back, they're going to push it to you and you're not going to miss much CS. No one's going to sit there and zone you in solo queue. They're going to try to push it into the tower. They might try to dive you, but either way, you're going to get to farm under tower. So, you're not really going to miss that much CS. And so many people get frustrated. They're like, my support's not in lane. What do I do? It's like, it it doesn't matter. You're not going to lose that much because they're going to push it to you. All you have to do is last it under tower. We have some great vision of this river. That's good. What does she have? Yeah, she's got a BF sword. Is she going to kill? Yeah, she did. Nice. Okay. So if we're only down like 20 CS or something, that's good. Because Callista is very good early in the game with her Ren stacks. Look at that vision. I can't believe that. That's great. That's a beautiful thing. I kind of do miss the season two days when um, you could just buy infinite wards as support and they lasted three minutes. That was that was glorious. There we go, blow him back. Make sure I get the assist on that. We're good. Okay, let's go get those dragons. Okay, this Kha'Zix knows what's going on. Dude, come on, man. Gangplank's like freaking out because he doesn't know how to watch a mini-map. It's never anyone's fault if you get ganked and killed by another lane, but you. Like, it can be their fault if they don't follow, if their lane... Like, that can be annoying, but you shouldn't die to it. You shouldn't need the MIA ping. The MIA ping is polite, but you should be watching the mini-map and understanding what's going on. Now this guy is just like losing his mind.
Okay, good. Yeah, this Kha'Zix knows what's up. I like this guy. I might try to do it with this guy after. This is how you win solo queue. G oh god, if GP dies to that, he just walked up so close. Okay, we grab this. We got a couple of these. Ward. Oh god, if he... God, he's gonna get tilted so hard. As you wish. God. <sighs> okay, we're gonna have to carry another one, kicking and screaming across the finish line, hopefully, here. This Kha'Zix is the ticket, though. We need to work around this guy. Vayne's doing okay. God, dude, just don't even start with me. Yeah, I gotta mute him. This FYI, he has exhaust, and he can use oranges to eat out of Vi's assault and battery. As you wish. Your team has destroyed but it's fine. See, this time is different. Like, we have one person who's raging and underperforming, but we have a Kha'Zix who's really smart and is making very intelligent plays. And he's playing a good champion. The two often go hand in hand, but not always. Vayne's doing okay, too. But it's really this Kha'Zix is the ticket. I need to try to do it with this guy afterwards. Need to recruit him. If I really want to get up a lot in ELO, I need to start... I don't know. Like, I like to try to do it solo queue. It just takes so much longer. And if you do, oh. He's just intelligent, too. You know, it's not... Like, getting to high elo and someone who's going to help you get to high elo is not... Often, it, like, mechanics are good, but often it's just strictly good decision-making. Just having good knowledge of the game. This guy has really good knowledge. Okay, they got the Rift Heralds. That means they're top lane. Like, he knows how to camp bottom, which is what you do in the current meta. He's just where he needs to be most of the time. So if you duo with someone, it doesn't even have to be an AD carry. It can just be a, any lane, anyone that's making intelligent decisions and plays good champions. We'll get you there. Okay, it's a normal ward, so I'm going to put a normal ward here. It's fine. Fight him for it, fight him for it. Oh, never mind. Well, Lissandra's coming. I think we can kill Lissandra, though. Okay. 
Get him, baby, get him. This Yasuo is just murdering everybody. This GP is playing so scared. He's got full health, dude. I mean, I have a right to play scared. I have 10% health, and I'm Janna. But even I'm sticking around, like, going up and shielding him and stuff. They could have had this. But it's cool. Get wrecked. Alright. I don't know what he's saying, but whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's need to chill. Too many people. See ya, Virtuoso. Thanks for stopping by, friend. What's going on here? Oh, gosh. There we go. Get the tower, dude. Get the tower, dude. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're on point. You need to go back and buy. Knock this ward out. There's a ward here. Get rid of this blast plant. Go ahead and drop a ward here while we're at it. And then I want to get down here and get, grab this experience. Then I'll back. That's one thing I need to be doing is like staying around experience a bit more. It's really hard when you roam as much as I do to keep a lot of experience, but... Okay, so we'll go for this, these, three of these, one of these, and we're good. Interesting. It feels like we're just running away with this game, but we're really not. Like, we do have great scaling champions, but... People are definitely goofing some things up.
I should have cast Redemption faster there. Before I ulted, I should have pressed Redemption. That's probably one of my big weaknesses with Redemption, is I just don't cast it fast enough. It's not really that long of a cooldown, especially if you have Ruby Sightstone. Is this guy? I can't tell if this guy's serious or not. <laughs> like he just pressed R. He's like that GP old man. How'd you how'd you pull that off? I don't know, maybe he really is blown away with that GP ult. I don't I don't know. Hey, thanks, Simon. Thanks so much, friend. It's that AD shield from Janna. Got him. Upon the wind. I wish I could push a bit faster. Your team has destroyed a turret. Okay, dude. Okay. Do it. I don't know about this. No, no, no. no. They know. You don't have the armor for it, dude. Oh, God bless. No, 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 just... That was not good. He was making some good decisions, and then all of a sudden, maybe not as much. Give that to her. Hey, thanks for the sub, friend. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I mean, like, a couple of minion hits could kill me there. There's some shoutouts here. Thanks so much, HQ, Colin, and Crimson for joining. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're having a good time. Need to make sure we don't throw this. It's totally possible to lose this game. Like, you have to win games that you're winning. I know that sounds obvious, but you really can't afford throws. Because you're gonna, if you're trying to climb, because you're gonna get games that just aren't winnable. Like, every game has some probability of being won, you know? But realistically, you're just, there's some games that are just gonna be almost impossible to win. So you have to win the games that you're actually winning. Just to give yourself a cushion. Yeah, we just need to get over here and uh, clean this up. Thanks so much, Rocket Orange. I appreciate it. Not right there. Not right there, Wukong. I guess that's fine. Yeah. Make sure he doesn't get soloed out here. Oh, dude, come on. Don't get cocky, please. Page. 
Yeah, just get this stuff. Dude, not. God, we shouldn't be split up. I think we can get at least maybe one. Why? Like, it's an ace. Why are we... Get out. Get out. I want to tell this guy diamonds, diamond greater than platinum too, but I won't. It's fine. Dude, you just go get the inhibitors. When three people are dead, you go get the inhibitors. That's fine though. Okay, we'll go ahead. We'll get to, uh, we'll start getting this easy next. Like, if you ever have an ace, get towers, get inhibitors. Barons don't matter. You can get barons later. Gosh. Well, never mind about dueling with this Kha'Zix. I thought he was smart. Like, he's, he's made two really bad judgment calls around Baron. He had me want to go duo it with him when he has no tank items in plain vision of the other team, which fortunately they didn't capitalize on that. And then he wants to go do Barons instead of getting two open inhibitors. Like one inhibitor is better than Baron because like they're saying you can take Baron easily with inhibitors or you can take inhibitors easily with Baron. You can take Baron easily when inhibitors are down too. But inhibitors just open up so much more. No, don't don't flank, don't flank. God bless. Just walk it up middle. Who cares about high? So yeah, those are two pretty serious lapses in judgment. His ganking patterns are very good early on. But if he really thinks that a Baron is better than two open inhibitors, you know, I just don't know what to say. I mean, we're so far ahead, fortunately, that it just doesn't matter at this point, but... I'm not salty, I, I, you know, I'm just saying, that's how it is. Yeah, that's the main thing, Alex. I mean, usually, that's that's a key term that I use, right, in one of my guides, is that barons can be stolen and inhibitors can't. But in that situation, they're not going to steal it because they're dead. But still, even though that isn't really on the table there... Um, inhibitors, one inhibitor is better than Baron because it gives you so much extra map pressure. Two inhibitors is a guaranteed Baron. If you get two inhibitors, they cannot leave their base. If you just wait any length of time, they can't leave their base because it's going to take... It's going to take two people in there to clear out those inhibitors, usually, in the game. And you can use Baron as a tool also to help you win the game. So not only just getting Baron, but baiting Baron. So that's a very useful tool. So what we could do is get both inhibitors clear out all the vision around Baron, get good vision, then we either get the Baron, one, or uh, they show up and try to stop us, and then we kill them, and then the the super minions will be piling into their base, and we just win the game right there. So that's why inhibitors are better. If you get the Baron, and they all spawn, yeah, you can walk up middle and with the Baron, and you, know, you have extra stats, and the minions are buffed up and stuff. It looks good. They can still beat you in a fight, like, what happens if somehow, like, my, I just, like, have a really bad moment of, you know, just a terrible play, and somehow I don't peel the vein like I've been doing beautifully, that game, by the way, if I do say so myself, um, but if I just somehow let this vein die, and, you know, Wukong dives into five people and dies, or just whatever, if they turn the fight and ace us, 
we don't get those inhibitors. So it's much, much better to get the inhibitors there. Um, it's just much more likely that you're going to win the game. Inhibitors win games. Baron's nice. Baron's cute. But it doesn't win you the games. And you can use it as bait. You can't use those inhibitors as bait. You can't make them come out of their base and fight you if they kill us after Baron's dead. Um, they're just going to sit there and wait. So that's why. That's why you want to go inhibitors in that situation. Um, so anyways, that's going to be it for the Jan of Autumn. I'm going to go ahead and queue back up. So we won't ask... The Kha'Zix to duo, you know, nothing personal. He did very well that game, but there's there's a couple of judgment call things there where probably won't do it. It's okay. I'm very selective. I'm going to duo. It's got to be with someone that's far above the curve in low platinum, and uh, that's that's unfortunately not, not the case there in the late game, in the mid to late game at least. But anyways, thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. The stream's going to continue as usual, but that's it for this individual Janivod. Have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you next time.